Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo June 29, 2022. On this day, it's a good time to unwind and reflect. With today's Mars-Saturn aspect, you benefit from appreciating things as they currently are. There are times to pursue improvements and other times to see the beauty in what's already in place. Realistic assessments can come in handy now. You might see an area where you've been pressuring yourself unnecessarily, and it's satisfying to simplify your life. You're also allowing room for others to be themselves without pressure to perform or measure up. It's easier than usual for you to listen to others and offer quietly supportive advice or commentary. Concentration comes more readily under this transit. You may take on work or obligations more willingly as you feel prepared to manage them, although with the balsamic moon, it's best to simplify. You're looking to explore your options, as you should. And whether you're single, crushing, or already romantically involved, the moon's journey through Gemini is urging you to set yourself free and wander as much as possible before settling down. The irony of this, however, is that Mars will simultaneously form a harmonious trine to Taskmaster Saturn, your relationship sector, which will likely add a layer of structure and discipline to your approach. It contradicts your desire for freedom, so choose wisely. Reconsider the commitment you have made to your professional development and journey. You might want to reflect on your contracts, agreements, or partnerships before forging forward with new professional adventures. It is tempting to take that leap of faith, but you might be remiss if you do not consider the potential futuristic pros and cons of your commitments that may influence the trajectory of your professional path. Review the terms of your agreements during today's sextal between Mars in Aries and Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. You might have a new insight to consider before going all in with this adventure. You will find that you have exactly the right thing to say to everyone today. It could be that others are coming to you with their problems and spilling their deep dark secrets. They do this because they trust you, and they know that you are a good listener and natural counselor. Do your best not to be judgmental. Focus on the positive side of every issue and maintain your caring, sensitive nature. Maintain contacts and strengthen your social ties, especially with close friends and family. Don't keep putting them off, because they really need to be near you now. It should be easy for you since you are completely at ease with yourself and won't be stressed by their company. Obviously, when others are in a positive mood you will be too. You and your housemates, if applicable, need to deal with some seriously irritating paperwork, but if you're able to catch the right bureaucrat in the right mood, things could be really awesome. Making an effort to get out and socialize is enough to make others aware of your qualities and there is every chance you'll discover a new love interest. You're sure to meet new people and create connections that give others an opportunity to get to know and appreciate your delightfully seductive ways. Is it time to take a more drastic approach to a problem? If you've made several attempts to resolve your trouble to no avail, it might be something to consider. As long as drastic doesn't equate with destructive, you may find it successful to try something far more forward and insistent however, be careful. Think things through long and careful first. Run any ideas you have passed a trusted friend. This is a good day for quiet reflection on the new projects and things that are occurring in your life. These days are best enjoyed in a quiet surrounding, as they tend to lend themselves to the more serious side of life. Utilize this time to your advantage by engaging in some introspection to gain greater insight into yourself. By applying your energies to the projects at hand instead of looking to start something new, you will find you are more capable of completing things. Today's new moon brings you to an important point in the wind-down of your current solar year. The sun and moon are meeting in a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart that is more about reflecting on the past while a new moon is all about the future. With the moon just days away from its last visit to Leo before the sun returns to begin your birthday month and new solar year and before the first planetary activity in your sign for the year begins, this is the point when the past, present and future start to overlap. The job of closing old doors will continue but it is in preparation for opening new doors. 
Thanks to the moon's departure from a social and serendipitous part of your chart, its only visit while Venus, the planet of love is here has left you better able to trust your gut and your sixth sense. Venus will continue to keep the laws of attraction and synchronicity in effect, with trusting your heart and gut key to experiencing serendipitous moments and or encounters. Our eyes in the sky. Good news from the universe, two positive sextals point your day in a more positive, productive direction today. First, a Mercury Chiron sextal offers you the chance to heal an old wound by gently removing the bandage and getting it out into the open. Talk to someone about it if you're comfortable about doing that, or if you'd rather not say any of it out loud, write it down in a journal or letter that you don't plan on ever sending. Words have extreme healing power now, and this therapeutic sextal offers you the opportunity to express your pain in new ways. Apologies, whether making or receiving them, are especially powerful during this healing aspect. The second, a Moon Mars sextal, offers up a competitive yet cooperative vibe that makes success a particularly attractive venture. Whether you're playing games with friends or working hard for a promotion at your job, this energy pushes you to be your best without being cocky about it. Is this a rare cosmic combo? Yes. Should you take full advantage of its energy to be the best you can be? Absolutely, 100% yes. Around dawn, Mercury in Gemini sextals Chiron in Aries, helping us contextualize wounding patterns. Compartmentalization can be used for good or ill. It can enable spiritual or emotional bypassing, yet it can also help us to gain perspective regarding situations that are typically too charged for us to assess objectively. This is one of those times where compartmentalization can be a helpful technique, as it frees us from self-imposed obligations to canonize our past. Instead of assuming that we are bound to replay the same traumas over and over again, we recognize that we have the authority to change how we tell our stories. This will be a somewhat unconscious process today, organically occurring as we go about interacting with friends, co-workers, and acquaintances. We simply tell our story differently, and this action creates change. Using new words prompts different recollections, and the way we share with others creates a holistic ripple effect. Mid-afternoon, Mars auspiciously sextal Saturn. Mars in Aries is all about action and enthusiasm, and all too often, this energy can go unchecked, resulting in burnout. Meanwhile, Saturn in Aquarius loves innovation but might be slow to put changes into effect, knowing that true progress is never achieved overnight. Yet, when these two influences come together in a sextal, they harmoniously play off each other. Mars encourages Saturn's propensity for experimentation. Saturn checks Mars' instinct to run into the fray without proper protection. This is a great aspect to use for initiatives where we must put our heads down and focus. Although we will not likely reach our projected target today, this Mars-Saturn permeates us with the confidence that we will achieve our aims if we work diligently towards their realization. 